Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, today we are going to uh, take a look on hierarchical schema and some REST operations on hierarchical schema. Our agenda today is uh, the use case of hierarchical schema, how to create, update, retrieve and delete hierarchical schema using REST API. After that we will go through a small demo of all these four operations and then we will uh, followed by uh, the documentation for all these rest operations and uh, regarding hierarchical schema uh, limitations and all. So wh what is a hierarchical schema? A hierarchical schema is a uh, is based on a schema file or a sample data file which we want to import in IICS. Uh, it, it supports both uh, JSON schema file for JSON st uh, structures and XHD file for XML files. Once a hierarchical schema is defined, it can be used uh, by the uh, hierarchical builder transformations or hierarchical parser transformations. Um, then why do we need to use REST API when we can uh, do the same operation using uh, IACS UI? There are two scenarios where we need uh, why, why we need to use the REST APIs. In one scenario is suppose uh, there, there are uh, sometimes what happened is uh, you, you have imported a particular hierarchical schema in the rest uh, in the IICS but then UI is not allowing you to update those schemas and we will uh, see that in the demo so in those cases if you want to update the uh, uh, the hierarchical schema then you can uh, do it using the rest API and second is suppose you have to create multi many schemas in bulk UI will be a slower option, so REST API will be a faster option for you to create those schema in bulk. These are the two use cases where REST API will be uh, helpful over doing the same thing in the IICS UI. Okay, um, so generally, uh, you know, if you see, there are four operations available for I, uh, hierarchical schema REST API operations. Uh, the first one is the create schema, where we are going to create a new schema in the IACS UI. The, then the retrieve schema, update schema and delete the schema. So when we are doing a create schema, this is the uh, endpoint will look like. Um, IACS pod base URL is the URL which is uh, generally every customer who are having a pod, uh, it is a very pod specific. So for example, if some customer is on a NA1 pod, then their URL looks like HTTPS colon uh, double slash na one dot dm hyphen us dot informatica dot com slash sas we generally retrieve this pod specific url when we receive the v2 or v3 login token in that only we will be getting the base url that can be used for uh, all the next uh, community next uh, operations in the create schema, what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to take the base API URL along with API v2 h schema. This is the hierarchical schema endpoint will be for creating the hierarchical schema. We will be using the same endpoint for retrieving the hierarchical schema. The operations will be different. It will be post for creating a hierarchical schema, but we will be using a get for retrieving all the hierarchical schema. Uh, if we want to update any hierarchical schema then we have to use the same one but we have to pass the the schema id so that you know we can update the specific hierarchical schema and the same thing will with uh, for uh, deleting the hierarchical schema if we want to delete a hierarchical schema then we have to uh, pass the id but the operation will be delete in the update we will be using the post but in the uh, if you want to delete then update will be delete we will be going through in uh, you know this in the uh, demo these uh, REST API operations are almost same as how we are doing it in UI, except that, uh, you know, there are only specific use cases when REST API will be having advantages. Okay, so then uh, let's go to the demo. We have one um, enrollment uh, schema, if you can uh, look into my screen. Uh, this enrollment schema is, uh, you know, uh, we have already created this schema, but suppose we want to edit it. Sometime UI do not, uh, is not allowing us to edit and because uh, this is a UI limitation. It can be, uh, uh, you know, we can edit it, but through the REST API, but in UI it is not available to us. So th in these are the situations where REST API is helpful. 
and uh, suppose I want to create a hierarchical schema. So let's go with all the operations. Suppose I want to create a hierarchical schema. You can see here. Uh, all we have to do is we have to provide. Uh, th this is the endpoint. My base URL is my. Um, uh, in my uh, customer's pod URL, which will be something uh, as I mentioned, https colon double slash na one dot dm hyphen us dot informatica dot com slash sas. So that will be something we can retrieve it from our v3 login or v2 login return payload. And then we have to use API v2 schema and this will be a post operation. We have to use this. Uh, we, are, we are using a sample XSD for creating a um, you know, ship order uh, hierarchical schema. If this schema is using additional uh, schema files, for example, you know, it is referring to some other XM, uh, XSD files, then we can add all those files in the including files here in the second parameter. We have to provide a name, description, root as we generally provide it in the IACS UI. And then we have to, uh, the container ID is optional. So this container ID is, suppose I want to create this schema in a particular folder. Then I have to provide the folder um, ID here. Uh, this folder ID is the same one what we have it uh, when you when you reach out to that folder, uh, you can get it from the URL. And uh, once you create it, A successful 200 means this ID, this schema got created. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is my this is our schema which we just created using REST API. Then uh, suppose we want to retrieve all the hierarchical schema from the uh, from my ICS org, then I can I can use this um, same uh, endpoint, but using a get command, I need to provide those um, you know to security tokens and all. Um, those are mandatory parameters for the header, but but uh, you know I can retrieve the all the hierarchical schema in this way. Suppose I want I need a uh, you know update on I need to update those particular schema. Then what we need to do here is I need to retrieve the ID first for the schema which I need to update. Uh, in this use case, I'm going to update the same hierarchical schema which I just created. So in the update, I'm going to update the same hierarchical schema. But here in this use case, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a second V2 XHD. Uh, while creating it, I'm just modifying the description as well so that I will be very sure that, okay, this is uh, updating the uh, hierarchical schema and we can uh, we can confirm it using seeing the description. So the, the operation is successful because we got a HTTP return code as 200. So let's take a look. Currently it is V1. Okay, if you take a look, this operation got successful. Uh, my hierarchical schema is now uh, updated here. And if I want to delete this particular schema, then I have to use this payload, uh, this particular um, API, but the operation will be delete. If I get a 200 OK, it means that the delete was successful. OK, so this concludes the demo. Uh, we uh, okay here are some um, uh, references for the api documentation and rules and guidelines for hierarchical schema hierarchical schema will also follow the, the rest api interface will also follow the same restrictions what is there on the ui side like it can uh, contain up to 10000 fields 500 groups 10000 elements etc um, so please go through the documentation uh, if you have if you need uh, further clarification. Please provide your feedback on support videos at informatica.com or leave a tweet at informatica support on Twitter. Thank you.